All right, welcome back to the Knives Fast channel, guys. It is time for an unboxing from our friend, Andrew Hobbert. But first, say hello to Ren and Stippy and Powder Toast Man and Log and TV. And let's get started. Guys, uh, Andrew has had one of my knives and now um, sent it back and uh, has sent me, as he always does, a couple of knives to check out. Andrew, thank you, brother. You've always been so kind and offering me your knives uh, to check out, and it helps the channel so much. Uh, we do have the Keith the Knife Freak unboxing knife, and I'm just going to go from this side because I can actually do it without showing his address. Uh, Andrew, I appreciate you, brother. I appreciate you being a part of the community and uh, being uh, big in my lives and, and everything else is so much fun. I'm going to put this back because, guys, that thing is still ridiculously sharp. Now, Andrew always does this, guys, by the way. If you get a package from Andrew, it's always going to be a package in a package, and it's going to be taped in there inside so it's not easy for somebody to get out. Um, they, they would have to go to a lot of trouble to get this out. So there you go. All right, I put that box over there, and now let's get this back out to slice this puppy open. Okay, good. No addresses or anything like that. Now, the first one of these is going to be, oh, boy, I didn't do a very good job, did I? I said it was sharp, Keith. All right, here we go. It is sharp. He's got a lot of stuff packed in here. So, all right. So this, I believe, is going to be, yep, that's my knife back. And no, it's not the label you see there. And these are his two knives. All right. So we will throw that away momentarily. So mine, uh, and I'm just going to show it because it makes me smile every time I see it, is uh, the awesome Hoback Summit. I just... Uh, it makes me cry. I love this knife. Uh, this knife is a flipping beast. And I actually love the way that it feels in my hand. Uh, my fingers go right there. Oh, it feels so good. I know it's huge and annoying to some people. And yes, it's made in China. I know that. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm going to leave it open right there just because it's fun. All right, now, I kind of remember what Andrew and I agree. Okay, so this first one I'm really interested in. So if you guys have heard of Sparrow Knives, um, he has collaborated with Concept for uh, this. Whoa, okay, that is a stiff detent. Uh, this guy, and I'm going to forget the Fenrir. Uh, this is the Concept Fenrir. Now, that is epic. So you almost have a, like a reverse bolster situation here. With this crazy shred carbon fiber, bra bronze, brass, brass, uh, looking uh, pivot and uh, thumb stud. You have a really cool uh, thumb rest here, and you can actually do a pinch here. Wow, okay, because you have this awesome uh, choke up point here, the choil, thank you. Uh, you do have swedging like crazy. Back here feels great. Uh, up here, we'll talk about that in the review. There's a little bit of something there. I do like that. Um, but yeah, it could be better, but that's just me. Uh, you do have sort of a bolstery lock situation or a covered up uh, lock. So you're not going to put pressure on that lock, which is awesome for lefties especially, but righties as well. Man, it is... That is a ferocious detent. Let's see how I do here. Okay, not bad. Not bad. Um, man, that detent, uh, again, it'll probably work in a little bit. You do have a coated blade. What is this? S35. Uh, so, yeah, the Concept Fenrir. Uh, very, very cool, Andrew. Now, this one is a little more of a budget knife. Um, and I kind of, you know, Andrew offered me a bunch of different knives, and eventually I want to see, especially one of them uh, that that he had. It was a Chavez, and I've never seen a Chavez, but I'm just I'm trying not to go too much all high end. I'm trying to keep some budget ones in there. Plus, there's been a lot of reviews of that knife. But Andrew, thank you so much for offering. But haven't seen a ton of reviews of this guy. This is oh crud, am I gonna forget the name? It's the Off Grid in. Forcer? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I think that's right. That sounds right. It's an off-grid knife, guys. Uh, and it is a more budget-friendly. You do have this 
wicked textured G10, I believe, uh, black coated blade. And just look at that. This says Big Red EDC, but man, that texture right there, nobody is pulling this knife out of your hands. Um, wow. Good drop on it. Nice. So really cool as well. Now, these are both quite smaller than the Hoback. Let me get that out of there. <laughs> That's a 10 inch knife. Uh, but uh, I don't even I don't even have a place to put that in a case, guys, because it won't fit in my case. So <laughs> but you have the concept Fenrir. Very excited or Fenrir. I don't know which it is. Uh, very, there you go. If you actually, okay. So I was kind of trying to scoop it with my thumb. If you actually get on the thumb stud, yeah, it's great. That's great. Okay. And then of course, as I said, the enforcer, please be right. Uh, you do have jimping out far enough. Very, very nice. Their logo. Wow. I mean, this is sweet as well. Very nice. And this is a budget level knife. So I'm excited to check that out. A uh, couple of coated blades. Very nice. So thank you, Andrew. Appreciate you, brother. Guys, give Andrew some, uh, some uh, thank you down in the comments for letting me check these out. And you'll see reviews on them in the next couple of weeks. That was just kind of some first impressions there. Really, really briefly. So there you go. The concept Fenrir and the uh, off-grid, I think, Enforcer. And, of course, the Hoback Summit is back in the family. And there you go. Thanks so much, guys, for all your support and for watching the Knives Fast channel.